Good afternoon, everyone. I am Lutra FM, back again. Um, after my very enjoyable Wraith Rover save, I decided to call it a day um, yesterday. Um, not yesterday, sorry, Saturday. And I've now decided to start a new journey, a youth only save with So Show. I made sure I got that right because um, I didn't want to offend anybody in France. But yeah, So Show. Um, they are based in the Le um, I think it's like the th third division of, of France, the equivalent of it, I think. And um, yeah, going to do a youth only save with them. But I just thought before we start doing that, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of information about the club. So the full name for the club is So Show Monty um, Billard. Their nickname is the Les Lions, which it means in English the Lion Cubs. Uh, hence why the logo's got a lion in there. They're also known as Legions et Bleu, which means the yellow and blues. They were founded in 1928, so they're 96 years old. Um, their, ground, their ground is called the Stade Auguste Bonnel, um, which is in Monte Bellard. I'm just going to have a quick look how much, how much it can hold. Um, uh, 20,000, basically. So 20,000 stadium. The... Owners of the club, are, I think the fans own the club by the looks of it. Um, the owner is called FCSM 2028. And the chairman is Jean-Claude Palice. Uh, no, Pal Palice. Um, and their current manager in real life is Oswald Tanjot. They are currently playing, in, as I said before, in the Championnat National. Um, last year they were in League 2. Um, but they got relegated. Their... Home colours is yellow and blue. The away colours are white with a blue trim. And their third kit is basically purple with a green trim as well. Um, just trying to have a look and see what the honours are on here. Honours as well. Um, they, were, they have been the champions of the French Championship in 1935 and 1938. They... Um, Let's have a look. See if there's anything else. Have they ever won the French Cup? They've won the French Cup. The last time they won that was in 2007, so that's not too long ago. And they won the French League Cup in 2004. I don't even know if the French League Cup's still about. It might be. Um, their largest victory ever was a 12-1 victory in 1935 against uh, Valencians. Um, their youngest player to achieve a hat-trick was Jeremy Menez. In 2005, and he was 17 years old and eight months old. Uh, club records most consecutive seasons in League Two is nine. Uh, largest home victory is 12 1, which I've already mentioned. Largest away victory is was 7 1 versus Leon in the 1987 um campaign. Largest home defeat was 5 0 to Monaco in 94 95. They also lost 6-1 to Ajaccio in the 2017-18 season and also 6-1 to Rennes in the 2023-2024 uh, French Cup. So their largest away defeat is 8-0 versus RC Paris in 1959-1960 season. Most appearances in all competitions is a player called Albert Rust. Um, maybe that, I don't know if that's right or not. I just looked at his photo and it's just come up with Albert Russ was an American politician and share a slaveholder. So I don't know. I don't know what they're, I don't know what somebody's probably having a joke here. Um, their most goals scored in all competitions is Roger Cotto. And he scored 281 goals. Uh, and then their youngest ever player in an official match is Eliza Mayenda, who was 16 years old and seven months and 10 days. Um, I won't go through all the players in the current squad. I'll just go through a few that you might know. Um, Julian da Costa, uh, Kevin Zoll, I think is one that I... These are ones I remember. Um, their main man is Nadri Philippe Coffey. Um, I apologise if I've offended anyone with my accent. I don't know why I keep putting an accent on when I'm trying to pronounce French players. Um... I think it's just see. I think I just find it easier to do that if I do it like that. But yeah, I apologise. Yeah, but I think that's it really. Um, notable former players: Cedric Bakakambu, uh, sorry, 
Felipe Anzani and Felipe Anziani, Eugene Batman, Oliver Baldry. Uh, I don't know, let's just go through the ones I know instead of just reading them all out. Uh, Fabrice Henry, I think I've heard of him. Uh, Jeremy Mathieu, we definitely know him. Jeremy Manez, Miranda, uh, ben, ben, uh, Benoit Pedriti, Ivan Persic. Uh, I think that's it, really. Yeah. So that's a bit of history for you. Let me just quickly go through anything else that needs to be done. So, yeah. So that's a bit of a quick intro of the history of the club. And in a second, we will, uh, I'll just give you a quick overview of the squad. I did a little bit of that in the intro video, but I'm going to go a bit more into it. And I'll be back in a sec for that. Right, and we're back. So let's just go through the squad, like I said before. So, um, yeah, so this player here, Nadri Felipe Coffee or Kofi, I think I'm going to pronounce him Kofi. If I've got it wrong, please let me know. Um, French player, I think he is also Ivorian. Yeah. So he could play for Ivory Coast if he wanted to. Um, yeah, so good, good striker. Okay finishing, okay first touch. Uh, decent balance, decent acceleration, decent uh, pace as well. Just overall decent starting attributes. That will that he can get better and that so yeah so hopefully we can get the best out of him um i'll go through my tactics in a minute as well and then we've got this player here called city dia diagni um you lot are gonna have a field day with me butchering all these names aren't you but yeah swiss player not been capped yet let's see if he's eligible for anybody else he can play for france or senegal Oh uh, yeah. Oh, um, decent centre back. Ball looks a bit okay. Heading, okay. Tackling, positioning, and jumping reach. So again, overall, decent attributes. Good potential as well. Could go on to have a really good career. Uh, let's have a look. Maxime Bastian. Good little left back. And what I'm liking about this is they're all quite young as well. They're all. Like 21, uh, Coffee is 21, and uh, uh, Diagne's 21 as well. And then you've got this player here, Maxime Bastion. See, I like that one. That's easier to say. Maxime Bastion. So, yeah, they've all got balanced personalities so far. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Malcolm Vittard, who used to play for... Oh, he used to play for Socho. Oh, no, he is playing for Socho. What am I about? Just ignore me. I thought uh, he went. On, he only went on loan to Chateau. Right. Let's have a look. See how else he's eligible. No, it's French. Um, we've got Nolan Galves, who's uh, wanted. Nineteen years old. Decent defender. So main players: a striker, central defender, and uh, um, basically um, the right back and left back. So maybe we'll look to. Then again, we've got some wingers here as well. See, these are a few of the more senior players here. They're a bit older, but they're still quite young. Uh, let's have a look who's our oldest player. I mean, yeah, we've got we've got a couple of oldies here, but I don't think they'll play very much. Um, just good mentors to have for the younger players at the moment. They won't be here forever. Thomas Fontaine. I think I've heard of him before. Who's he used to play for? Lorient, Rennes, Clement, Auxer, Tours, Lyon. So he's uh, he's been around the block a bit. Um, played for a few good French teams over the years. We've got a few of these as well. So if we just look on this, this is what the assistant manager reckons is our starting lineup for the next game, which is a friendly. Um, so yeah, if I just show you my tactics now. And uh, right, so. This is the main tactic. So as always, when I do these type of saves online, I don't use any downloaded tactics because it's cheating. I don't mind if I do an offline save because I'm not that bothered unless I'm doing a specific challenge on the Saigon forums and then I don't do it. But yeah, 
I like testing out new formations, new tactics that people have created to see if they are actually any good. So, I mean, I mean, I'll just show you, for example, I don't know if this is my other tactics. I don't know if I just show you load. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's just like hundreds, well, not hundreds, but just like pretty much just a ridiculous amount of downloadable tactics. But we won't be using them for this save. So this is the main tactic. And we've got Zol and Kofi up front. Um, we are playing with wingers, but we've got these as well. So in possession, we're going to pass into space, play out defense, higher tempo. In transition, we're going to take short kicks, uh, and distribute to center backs, counter and counter press. And then out of possession, we are going to have a higher defensive line, do a higher press much more often and prevent short goalkeeper distribution and step up more. So that's basically what I've done is I literally just um, I clicked on this and I put in and I scroll went across. Well, basically, if, if you pretend this is cleared and then at the start, it will tell you the three recommended tactics and I basically did them. So I went with what my assistant manager suggested. So we'll see if this one doesn't work straight away. We will have a look at the other ones as well. Um, let's just go through. Let's have a look at the development center here. We've got some good players here coming through. Charlie Dosso, um, 20 year old French player, goalkeeper, decent overall attributes, not many below 10. Um, balanced personality, so he could probably become a first team regular in time. We got Rian Midi, Rian, no, sorry, Rian Majdi, and uh, attacking midfielder, balanced playmaker, usually. Like I said, everybody looks pretty decent for this level. They look pretty good for this level, is what I'm trying to say. They're not like amazing yet, but they're all very young, so they can all work out quite well. But yeah, some of these could be like potential to be. The club's best players and a lot better than some of our current players as well. So we'll be looking at the cup, the cup competitions to play some of these youngsters. Maybe some of the games that we know we can afford to take a loss. It depends on how good we are doing at the moment. Now, if you look at the club vision, the club vision is to work within the wage budget and grow the club's reputation. They want us to gain automatic promotion to lead to uh, and be, be competitive in the Coupe de France. So I'm assuming that means get through one or two of the rounds and then what will be will be and then work towards developing the nation, uh, the Nationals best youth system, which we probably pretty much got, I think. And then the supporters basically want us to develop players using the club's youth system, which we we're going to do. It's the whole point of the same. Finish above Nancy in the league, which hopefully we'll do, and then gain automatic promotion to League Two. So we will see how it goes. So, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be back in a minute after I've got pre-season done and then we'll crack on with the first game of the season. Right, we're back for the next part of the episode. Um, I've managed to quite quickly go through pre-season. We'll just click on this and see how we do. We're unbeaten in pre-season. We won three and drew two. Um, let's just have a look at a couple of the wins. So yeah, so we won 2-0. Goals from Licolia and Deho. And then we won 2 1 here. Uh, Fatar. Fatar? Yeah, Fatar. He scored both. And then we won 3 0 here. Fatar, Fatar, and uh, Kiembi Tete. Uh, 18 year old. Very good potential as well. Like I said, all these players are so good potentially. But yeah, let's have a look at uh, Fatar because I don't think I looked at him earlier. Uh, 21 years old, three star ability, um, four and a half potential by the looks of it. So yeah, so very good. Winger likes to score. So the tactic we're using at the moment, granted we're only playing. Then again, we did beat a JCO who are uh, in a higher league than us. Um, we drew it to lose as well, who are a stronger competition. Uh, we beat. Portuguese uh, first division team, Vitoria, through Catelli beating uh, VVV. So, but yeah, here's the first three games of the season. 
We're playing New York, who are a very good team. I recently did an offline save with them, so I know all about them. And then we've got Dijon, who I think only just come down from League Two. Um, and then I'm not even going to pronounce them. I'm just going to call them G GCBFC. So, yeah, so that's that. Um, I managed to get a few staff in as well. No major transfers. I don't think anybody left. So, yeah, so we've got a strong team. Uh, ready to play our first game of the season. Hopefully, we will start the season with a with a win. But yeah, here's our starting lineup. Uh, uh, Petuliet in goal, Galvez as right back, uh, Maltinez and Fontaine as centre back partnership. Sil uh, Silva as the left back, Vitard and Dreme. In midfield, Dosso on the right, Deho on the left, Zol and Kofi up front. So, exciting times ahead. I'm looking forward to seeing how this team does straight away. Um, yeah, right. Just click on that. I just need to change this. So, replies off. Let's put that forward, put that there. We'll just go key highlights and we're good to go. So let's see how we get on. We uh, kicked off, we're in possession. And that's that. <laughs> First highlight to us though. So yeah, Fontaine. Oh. Oh no. Neil. No, 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 no. I think the goalkeeper saved that then. Oh no, he didn't. Went over. Not the best of starts, is it? Um... Let's see how we get on there. Right, we're in possession. Kofi's got it. Beautiful ball to Dasu. Oh, Dasu loses the ball though. That's two highlights now where we've, that's happened. Lack of concentration maybe, I don't know. Nerves, oh, beautiful ball. Kofi should have done better with that. It's all playing very well, set up. Kofi there. There we go. Another highlight, hopefully. No, oh, no, maybe not. New York passing out from the back. Oh. No. Right, let's see if we can get this ball back. Come on. Come on, Silver. Get it off him. Oh. Uh, 1 0. He's actually a pretty good player from. Uh, from when I played with Neil, he was my top goal scorer for that season. Let's hope we can bounce back from this. Um, we are, me and, um, sorry, not me, uh, Socho and Neil are the favourites to get automatic promotion. So this is like a top of the league game already. And it's the first game of the season. Right, free kick to Neil. If they get another one here, I'm going to be quite... Oh, Jesus Christ. Nestor again. <sighs> oh, well, all that enthusiasm I had after looking at pre-season has gone completely down the toilet now. We've shown slight glimpses, but we just can't seem to get any shots on target. I think if we get a shot on target, we might score. Come on, Zol. Oh, that was a... At least it was on target, though. Just over by Neil. Oh, sorry. Right. So I just have to adjust my leg. My laptop is literally on my lap. And my legs start playing up if I keep it in a certain position for a long period of time. Because I'm getting old. Right, Kofi. Uh, we haven't got anybody to put on for you. So we'll just tell you to focus. Hopefully that'll help. Right, see if we can get back in this game. No, no, we can't. Come on. This is not the, the day view that I wanted to have in this save. I wanted to start the save with a bang, with a win. Good over the top ball. Davo. Come on. 
Ooh, hit the bar. That's better. Zol to Adejo. Adejo. Oh, nice pass. Go on. Oh, Vitard hits the bar and then he hits the post. Right, Dosu has been playing rubbish, so we need to take him off. We'll just put you on. Uh, Kofi playing better since I told him to focus. Uh, I can't take him all players off anyway. Right, we need to put him more in a central position. Right, let's demand a bit more off the players. Come on. We get a goal here. We've got a chance of getting a draw out of this. I'll take a draw at this point. We've just got to be a bit more focused on the job in hand. Over the top ball. Von Dejo. Uh, Dejo. Dejo is going to have to come off, I think. Or oh, we can make some more subs. Uh, no point. We've only got defenders and a goalkeeper. I think I'll just tell him off instead. Ah, <sighs> come on. Oh, that was beautiful over the top ball to see. So, well, that's that then. So, first came with this. Oh, no, it won't count. Okay. Fair enough. We'll prolong the agony for now. Oh, great. Zol's injured. And we've got no players to put on for him. Bigney is a defender, so we'll just pop him in here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, for God's sake. Right, put it there. Hold on. Oh, come on. Why is it not letting me... There we go. Flipping out. That was difficult, wasn't it? Right. Let's see what happens there. <sighs> We are the bottom club of the league already. <laughs> Imagine if I start this save and it happens again and I get sacked. I've got, every save I've done on YouTube, I've been sacked. I got sacked with Everton and I got sacked with bloody Rafe Rovers. I was really hoping this was not going to be another one. Zol's out for three to five weeks. That's great. guess it's time to already promote a young player up from the... Second team, maybe. Um, but anyway, right. I'll be back in a minute with the next game. We're back, and we've got Dijon in the next game. Um, I didn't bother. But I looked at a few players in the under-18s and stuff to promote to the senior team, but I, I feel like we've already got some decent players in the full team anyway. Like um, this player here called e Ezulf, uh Makalu. So, uh, Ivorian player. Hopefully, he can do well in today. He's not a striker. The problem we've got here is we are lacking in strikers, really. So, some of them are wingers that can also... I mean, Kofi's a uh, flat-out striker. And uh, he's not, though. He's a winger, but he can't play up front. So, we'll just make do with what we've got. Um, for now, maybe I might change the formation if this game doesn't go away, uh, doesn't go well, because we can't really go three or four games without winning, because it will be it'll be a bit difficult for us to then get automatic promoted. Really, it makes it a little bit harder. So yeah, so we'll try and hopefully win this game, and then we can relax a bit, and hopefully the tactic will work out well. Like I said, it's only the second game of the season, so we'll just go see how it goes. But yeah. Um, We've got Valetti in goal, De Costa as right back, uh, Maltinez and Fontaine in the centre back partnership, Silva as left back, um, Vitard and uh, Dussar in the middle, and then we've got Dosu and Deho on the wings, and Makalu and Kofi up front. So we'll see how we get on this one. Another away game for us as well, which is a bit frustrating.
I really hope we don't lose to Dijon, but D Dijon are a very good team. Oh, Kofi gets booked. Got a bit of a temper on him, that young man. Right, first highlight of the game awkwardly goes to Dijon, who's going to score. We were lucky there. We were lucky. Thank God for our goalie. That was a great ball by whoever it was for Dijon, though. The fans won't be happy. Nancy are top at the moment. Right. First highlight to us and we score. Thank God for that. Go on, Boris. His name's Boris. I've got to call him Boris from now on. Good old Boris. Right, 1-0 to us. We've got possession again. Let's see what we can do with it. Playing it out from defence. Silver. Aldeo. Hopefully he'll play better in this game than in the last game. Silver bombs it forward. Beautiful cross. Ah, oh, beautiful goal. Dosu. There we go. That's more like it. I genuinely think it was because we were playing Neil. We were a very good team. I managed to get them promoted, automatically promoted in the first season in charge with Neil, but then struggled in League Two with them. Uh, whereas Socho also got promoted, automatically promoted in that season. And they did quite well in their first season in League Two. So hopefully that will be the same for us. We will get promoted straight away. And then hopefully we'll, we'll do well in the second season. I mean, the aim is to obviously get promoted to League One as quickly as possible. Um, and then try and win, win the league with just young play with all our youth players and that team full of academy products, hopefully. But we'll see. Um, we are obviously getting ahead of ourselves. We're only in the second game of the season. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, thank God for that. Good defending there, Boris. See, Boris has automatically already become my favourite player on this in this team so because his name's Boris. Uh, Boris Montanese. Right, Dijon trying really hard to get back in this game here. We have... Got the counter attack now with Vitard. Uh, Vitard, sorry. De Costa. Deho. Beautiful goal there. Kofi. Sorry about the hiccups. Beautiful goal there by Kofi. Look at this. Oh, look at this. A lot of sevens here. A lot of seven ratings here. So that's good. Great team performance so far. I'll just make subs if I have to because of injuries. Otherwise, I'll just let them play. Injuries or they're knackered, but that'll be the only reason I'll sub them, I think. Right, throw into us. Ooh, okay. That was a bit ambitious there. Um, you'll be happy to know that I won't be signing Deli Alley in this save as it's a youth only save. It'll be. One of the few saves I do where I won't be signing Deli Ali. So my good look my good look charm will not be uh here. Scored an up on them but because I was messing around and missed that, so I'm just gonna uh uh hold on, we'll have a look at it again in a sec. All right. All right, let's have a look. So it was a throw in. Cross the ball in, header, beautiful. We're very good at, um, we've got very good players that are, when it comes to just crossing and headering, so that's good. All right. Uh, Vitard, we'll just put you on. All right, corner to us, Leonard. Uh, Makalu, back to Leonard. Oh, bit of a, a fuffle there. Still got possession of the ball though. Fontaine. Oh, okay. Led to nothing. Right. Good result. Really good way to bounce back. 
Uh, let's just quickly go through these, just price in. They never ever are happy with, with when you criticize them. They always have to, none of them go, okay, boss, I'll, I'll do better. You have to literally threaten them to get anything out of them. So I think from now on, I think I'm just not going to bother uh, trying to have a go at them because they just it just doesn't really work. All it does is just ruin their morale. Right then, I'll be back in a minute for the next game of the season. Right, and we're back for the uh, final game of the episode, and uh, we just uh, we are playing. Uh, I'm going to try and get this right. Uh, Mary, Mary, I'm just going to call him JCB. Uh, G uh, GCB, sorry, not JCB, GCB, or FC, we'll just call them that. So, uh, with our starting lineup is basically the same as before when it comes to defence. Uh, we've got a player called Akru in midfield with Drame, and then we've got Dosser and Deo on the wings. We've got Fatar up front who scored quite a few goals in pre season with Kofi. So, let's just see how it goes. Sorry, that noise was my dog, Baxter Barking. Uh, sorry, yawning. He's been napping on me. Now he wants to play, typically, which is annoying. Uh, right. Back on with this. Back on with the save. Good ball. Accra. Ooh, lucky there, my drama. They are in possession. A uh, bit of a quiet game, this one. We've got the corner now. Let's go straight to the goalkeeper, though. Right, Acre, Costa, nice bit of passing going on here. My dog Baxter has decided to bite me to death now because he's woken up. I'm trying to concentrate on recording this. Good goal there by Deo. Yeah, I do think that New York game was just a blip. I think we will we'll do very well this season in this league. It's next season I've got to worry about, I think. All right, 1-0 to us. They're in possession, though. They're probably just going to score an equaliser here. Yep, they are. Go on, Baxter, off you go. Right, that's Baxter off. Right, Deo passes it inside to Fatar. Fatar to Kofi. Kofi to Dassault. Uh, that was a bit of a weird shot there by him. Ah. Uh, I don't know what that boy maybe hopefully yeah to slow. I don't know what's going on. Good save by the goalie. Valette throws it across to Boris. Come on, Boris. Get us back in this game. Accra. Kofi with the ball to Dossi. What a ball. Ah, oh, Fataj, you should have done better than that. Right, their goal kick. We've retained possession. Kofi. Oh, starting to uh, get back in that. Get back in the game now after they've equalised. So that's good. 
Oh, I say that and then they'll probably score from here now. Oh. Right, goal kick. Right, so that's the end of the first half. That's good. Right, let's try and demand a bit more, see if that'll do anything. Uh, again, very quiet start of the second half. Uh, let's take silver off if we can. If we can't. That's a bit annoying. Qatar's not playing very well, but we haven't really got anybody to replace him with. So, uh, yeah, a bit limited. It doesn't help that we can only have, we only can have five substitutions, so it kind of limits us in uh, tactical decisions. Right, Accra. Oh, we lose the ball. This is not good. Right, Kofi now. Come on, let's get this winner. Good. Fatah. The little link up there between uh, Kofi and Fatah then. Two one. Right, let's get another one to settle the game. Silver lines up the free kick. Maybe. Will he shoot? No, passes it. Oh, great little shot there by Kofi. Three one. There we go. We can relax a bit now. Right, the cost is knackered. Uh, let's put you on. Silver. I'll just put you on. Nah, that will leave the rest for now. But yeah, all three of our, uh, well, three of our four attacking players have scored now. Nearly conceded there. Right, who? Uh, we'll just put you on. So after three games played, by the looks of it, we're currently six. Um, I don't know what happened there. I need to see that again because that was quite funny. Right, it's the free kick. What was their goalkeeper doing? <laughs> like seriously, what was the goal? I've got to watch that again. Okay. What was their goalkeeper doing? What was he doing over there? Oh, I'm going to watch that from a different angle. What angle should we pick? Sideline? No. Yeah, let's try it. Try sideline. Right, let's try that. Let's watch this again. I, I can't. I can't stop watching this. This is hilarious. Um. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> one more. One more. I promise. Right. Bear with us. And that's it. Hold on. I'm trying to think of the perfect angle. Let's try this one. No, that one's not very good. I will just watch it anyway. No, I'll just leave. We'll leave it as that. But that's so funny. Oh, that's hilarious. Right. Let's just... Finish this game. Oh god, I forgot to change the camera angle back. I wonder why that was weird. Director, there we go. Sorry, right. So yeah, four one. Let's praise the team. Kofi with two, Fatal with one, and Dehu with the other. They've got a consolation goal, I hope. If they get another one, I'm gonna be quite worried. I don't want this to end 4 4. I've had a few 4 4 draws before after winning 4 0 in that Everton save, so, um, and Rafe Rovers, so anything can happen. By the way, um, anybody who's a rock fan, Tenacious D have um, covered Britney Spears' Baby Hit Me One More Time. It's on Spotify. I'm not getting sponsored for it. I just literally found out today. Because um, I think Jack Black is a national treasure. Oh, for penalty. 
So yeah, um, maybe hit me one more time on Spotify. Have a look when you get, have a listen when you get a chance. It's not very long though, um, about a couple of minutes. I thought it'd be a bit, look, not a couple of minutes. I think it's not even, I think it's like two minutes or something. It's um, for the new Kung Fu Panda film, I think. But yeah, nice little win there. So we've won, played three and won two so far, basically. So we've got six points. We're only one point behind. Well, we're neck and neck on points with New York. Um, so that's good. I'll just praise him. I can do this offline. Right then, I'll um I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Thank you for everyone who's been who watched who ends up watching this one. Let me know in the comments section. Um, yeah, question one ask. I want to get some communication going on back and forth with people on here. So let me know who which football team you're currently managing on Football Manager. Let me know how your saves going on and all that lot. So I want to try and build some community going on. I want to try and build some. Like feedback and yeah let me know about how you think i'm going to do uh, and all that like let's get let's get some conversations going but yeah thanks as always i'll be back tomorrow all the best bye